I've been 10 years in this industry, especially in the nutritional industry. I started to look at Monavi, and when I saw the founder of Monavi, Mr. Dalit Larson, say some few things, and I was very, very impressed. God first, family second, Monavi third. That's the first thing that really caught my attention. I don't see big CEOs of giant businesses talking that language. I haven't heard this language in the past 10 years that I've been in network marketing, and I got so excited about it, I joined Monavi, and I haven't looked back. I married for 21 years. Beautiful wife, my strongest, biggest fan, strongest supporter. And I'm the one who's always carrying, carrying the boxes out from the car. <laughs> <laughs> Into the house. She loves taking care of the children, besides taking care of me. My five kids have been drinking Monawi for almost two and a half years. They have never been to the clinic and they are so healthy. All my five children, are quite actively involved in my business. They know about the product, they know about the marketing plan, they know about the opportunity, and they know that this business can really have a lot of people change for the better on health and wealth. My youngest son, who is 10, he can do a presentation on Munavi. And my second son, he sponsored eight of his teachers into this business. I have a slight problem with some of my children now. They're saying that, do we really need to go to school to do this industry very well? I emphasize on a formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Shaw and Zizi are ready to turn in their pins from Black Diamond because now they are the first Royal Black Diamonds outside of North America. I would say Monavi is not a supplement, it's not a medicine or a cure, but it's a food. I say if you give your body good food, the body is the best doctor and your body will be able to fight any disease. That's the strength of the, the product. A product is not gender specific, neither is it age specific. So anybody, the whole household can take the product. I haven't seen anything come so close to this product. I always say the key to success is this. The seven P's. The first P, of course, is the persistence. Anything you want to do, you must be persistent. If you're not persistent, you cannot achieve anything. The second P I stand for is you must be very patient. There's a saying by Zig Ziglar who says, build your skills and talents. Your day will definitely come. The third P, you must be always very positive. If there are 300 things going wrong and you find one good thing which is right and you focus on the one good thing, you will succeed. The fourth P also says you must be always very passionate about your business. I mean, you know, talk about your business, you must be passionate and excited about business. The fifth P, you must always have a very good personality. How you feel on the outside is how you feel on the inside. The sixth P, I says, you must be very, very always pleasant because we're not dealing with uplines, downlines and prospects. We're dealing with humans who have got emotions and who have got feelings. But the most important piece, what's your purpose? If you have a strong purpose and a strong why, you'll definitely succeed. With all the political and the religious turmoil going on right now, God said, I just want to sit down and watch all this happening. So he sends an industry, especially a good company like Monavi. For a good example is myself. I'm a Muslim. My upline who sponsored me is a Christian, and I sponsor another Christian. And this Christian sponsored a Hindu. And this Hindu sponsored a Buddhist. And that Buddhist sponsored another Muslim. And that Muslim brings another Christian. So here we are. All religions, working hand in hand, arm in arm, 
each and every one of us going out of our way to help one another to go up the ranks and nothing makes us much more happier to see people succeeding irrespective of their religions, their backgrounds, their cultures. Eventually this will be really a very, very good platform for bringing the people of all the different religions together in this world, make it more peaceful and harmonious. When we make a lot of money, I think God is also watching us. What do we do with the money? I think the best gift that God has given us is life. I think the best gift that we can give back to God is what we leave behind for the unfortunate ones. My motto in life is the true beauty and joy in life doesn't depend on how happy you are, but it depends on how many people are happy because of you. All my money I earn, I'm going to give it away. This is from me and my wife for the more project. This gentleman has got 700 unfortunate children. He is running a monastery in Thailand. Every morning to get food, to get food, they have to go to ask for food. He's a very hardworking man, very devoted to Monawi. Most of all, he likes to help people. And this sister Flora, she's got a home. They cater for old folks and they cater for cancer patients. They wish they could have more money to run the homes. Basically, I'm an instrument for the universe, for God to work through, to help a lot of people. I'm not really concerned about the lifestyles I can enjoy but I'm more concerned about how I can be of help to some poor people. The people that I respect the most in my life are mothers who got retarded children. She knows that the retarded child got no hope, but the mother will never give up hope. With the help of this girl and her in-laws, in this foundation, I'm gonna build two homes. Two homes where I will employ at least 80 people fully employed where I will pay them salaries so that the mother can go out back to the world to get back her life. I'm not looking at her car. To me, this is more important. This is more important. I told them, don't give me the car, give me the money, I'll give it away. They said, no, no car, no money. So I have to take the car. All this is becoming possible because of Monami. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best time of my life and I'm given this opportunity to really go out there and serve. Thank you so much. God bless you. I pray that I have a long life, make a lot of money and I'm going to give it all away.